Still got that crazy issue from yesterday on this Flex IO. And so yeah, right now, my red lights are flashing here and these two are angry and that's because the PLC control and them are turned off. But yeah, yesterday, occasionally I'd heard this contactor drop out. So I'm gonna go turn the PLC on. We're just gonna mount this camera right here. And I'm just gonna see what happens while I set up the rest of the lab. Well, yesterday, this would have done it probably 20 times by now. Now, I let it sit here for six minutes. So, yeah, you know, just like when you call out the most expensive person to troubleshoot for your machine, it's not going to do it now that I got a camera on it. Which probably brings us back to it being temperature related because that's the only thing different is it's not as cold this morning as it was yesterday morning. I bet I need to wait until, well, let me wait a couple of weeks till it gets cold and leave the heat off. I bet that'll come back. We're going to try to see it, simulate an issue that probably a lot of us over time have seen grief with is why the world they don't include the ECR with the compact logics. I don't know, but I believe the old ones would halfway run without the ECR. And then you'd cycle power and sometimes they would fall. I don't know. I'm going to test it out here. Okay. Seems happy. We'll go ahead and hit the download button. And then, oh well, I was not expecting that. Oh well. So we all have all types of fun down here. Actually, I don't think it'll work with this one because it had the embedded IO, so I popped the end cap on and it works. But of course, still angry there. So this is electronic key and mismatch. We're gonna jump over here to RS Links and have a look at it over here. Oops, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for this unrecognized device properties says it's revision 2.06 and over here what did I put in revision 3 okay well let's go offline and we'll change that over to revision 2 click the OK button get an angry warning that we probably should read click the OK button down here and let's try downloading that and see what it does. Can't download the fault to the controller. Oh yeah, and in this one it was fun. I forgot about that. Go online. Then we can go to the major fault tab, clear majors, and then we can hit the download button. Another warning we probably should have read. And then let's get communications run mode. Get another warning. Okay, so everything's happy. And if I just kind of wiggle this connector loose once you're running, ugh, I can do it with a camera in my hand and I have to wedge it up against something. Nope, that thing did fault right away. Okay, never mind. All right, well, it survived its first run on simulating brakes, much better than its predecessor did. If I recall the first class, I think I got to the second brake and it broke for real. So this one, we found it needs a lot of work, but uh, it did make it through and it did build the troubleshooting principles that we were hoping to do. Probably the most comical uh, issue we found is, you know, it has the run bar on the front of it, which is also where the meter need person needs to be. So right now it looks like the technicians have to hug each other to actually simulate the machine. So this will probably need to get moved over here or somewhere. Little small things, but I mean, really thinking about it, I think that this machine probably helped with, I guess, the foundational troubleshooting knowledge of tremendously better than that one. I guess I am patting myself a little bit on the back on that one. 
But yeah, we got a couple other switches to flip tomorrow. And yeah, we got a lot of communications to talk about. See you tomorrow.